Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'll walk you through setting up a modern and scalable front end using Laravel 12 combined with Vue 3, Vue Router 4, and Bootstrap 5.3, all powered by the Vite build tool. Before we start, let's ensure you have everything you need installed on your machine. Here are the prerequisites for this setup. PHP version 8.2 or higher, Laravel 12 requires this to run smoothly. Composer version 2.6 or above, this is your dependency manager for PHP. Node.js preferably version 18 or newer, needed for Vite and frontend tools. NPM version 9 or higher, this comes with Node.js and we'll use it to install frontend packages. Optionally, you can also install the Laravel installer globally by running. Alright, let's get started with step 1, creating a brand new Laravel 12 project. Open your terminal and run the following command. This command will download and install the latest version of Laravel and place it inside a new folder called Laravel View App. Now that your Laravel project is created, let's open it in Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and open VS Code. Then in the top menu, click on File and choose Open Folder. Navigate to the folder where you created your Laravel project. It should be named Laravel View App. Next, let's open a new terminal. Now in step 2, we're going to clean up Laravel's default front-end files. Laravel comes with some pre-installed CSS and JavaScript that we won't be using since we're setting up our own view and bootstrap configuration. So in your terminal, run the following commands rm rf resources css rm resources js bootstrap js the first command removes the default CSS folder and the second one deletes the bootstrap.js file inside the resources.js folder. Alright, in step 3, we're going to install all the front-end dependencies we need using npm. These will include view router, bootstrap 5.3, popper.js, and the official view plugin for V8. In your terminal, run the following commands one by one, or you can copy and paste them together. npm install Vue router at 4. Copy npm install save dev Evitase plugin view. Paste npm install the save dev Evitase plugin view. Copy npm install bootstrap at 533 at popper.js core. Paste npm install bootstrap 533 at popper.js core. Great. Now that we've installed our dependencies, let's configure Vite so it works seamlessly with view 3 and our folder structure. Awesome. Now let's create the structure for our view application inside the Laravel project. We'll begin by creating some folders and files that will hold our components, pages, router, and main view setup. In the terminal, run the following commands. Great, now it's time to wire up our view application using the main JavaScript entry file, resources.js.app.js. .js. 
Next, let's set up our root view component in resources .js app .view. This component will serve as the container for all our routed pages. Open app.view and add the following. Now let's configure view router which lets us build a multi-page experience in a single page application. Go to resources JS router index JS and add the following code. Let's now create our first view page component home view. Navigate to resources, JS, pages, home view, and paste in the following code. Now let's connect our view app to Laravel by creating a blade view file. In your terminal or file explorer, go to the resources views folder and create a file named app.blade.php. Inside app.blade pop, add the following code. Now, let's make sure that Laravel always loads our view app no matter what route we hit in the browser. Open the file route to web.php and add the following catch-all route at the bottom. This allows Laravel to serve your view app on every route, enabling view router to handle client-side navigation. Now it's time to install all the node dependencies we listed earlier like view, view router, bootstrap and the Vite view plugin. In your terminal, make sure you're inside the project folder, then run. With everything installed, let's start up our development servers. First, we'll run the Vite dev server so it can compile and serve our view app with hot reload. Now that the front end is running with Vite, let's start the Laravel backend server. This will launch your Laravel application on HTTP localhost 8000. Great job! If you followed along, your Laravel 12 backend and Vue 3 frontend are now successfully up and running. Now that your app is running, let's take a quick look at the recommended folder structure we've set up for scalability and clarity. Inside the resources JS directory, we've organized our view code like this. Thanks so much for watching and happy coding.